I have lots to do, so I'm kind of just like trying to reset myself so that I can get productive again because I have a lot of things I have to be doing for the mission. I wanted to come on here and show you guys a little bit of a behind the scenes of what everything looks like that you guys are seeing, basically. It's like when you guys see the videos each week, this right here is what it looks like. Say hi, Colton. This is our friend, our wonderful friend person that we Colton like. Is our, like considered as Colton is our person. producer slash videographer. Yes, he for does sure. lots of cool things. He's There's the behind the scenes camera person. And there's some bunnies. Wait, 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 wait. You know what this reminds me of? Okay, so when the pandemic, or was it whenever YouTube had its issue, and they had puppies so that the workers could, like, not go crazy. This is kind of what that looks like. Oh, oh, oh. Do you okay, remember? so when we went to, not CVX, what's the other one? FanX, right? They actually have puppies down below in the green room where, like, the celebrities and other people go and they sit. Oh, yeah, that and too. And it's like a, uh, it's a calming. emotional support calming yeah. section. Like, so while we are figuring this out, we are literally working on and figuring out all the videos we want to post how we're coordinating everything together to prepare for me leaving and this is kind of what that's looking like right now and we've got animals running around everywhere while Colton's on a computer I've got a computer a calendar a notebook and mom's got her calendar notebook planner and then the little girls are over here just chilling that's kind of what we're doing right now it's kind of chaotic a little stressful but it's fine our brains can handle it we can do it Two hours later. Okay, we were at the table for two, almost three hours getting this figured out. And I'm not completely done. I still have to get some things figured out because I'm trying to plan and get videos out for the 18 months I'm gone so that I can still like stay on top of it a little bit, you know? But I'm taking a break because I think I did as much as I could. I'm just cleaning everything up now. I am definitely gonna get a bunny when I get off my mission because they're quite therapeutic. So I'm just cleaning things up and I'm actually gonna go and sit out by the pool. I wanna tan for a good little bit and then swim just because we were like in Hawaii for a long time and that felt so nice. So getting everything organized and cleaned, you know? We're dressed. I'm gonna get some whack tan lines from this thing, but that's okay. I got my AirPods. I'm trying to find my scrunchie. I think my scrunchie's out here. Got everything. Now let's go to the pool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we just finished tanning by the pool. Wee! Do we look darker? Ba 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 ba. <laughs> We're eating food right now. On my dad's face. Quite it's delicious. So cool. It's called yeah. food. What is up, everybody? This is me tired. And this is my productive reset routine. I've had like kind of a break for the summer and been doing obviously as much work and been as busy as I am at school and I have lots to do so I'm kind of just like trying to reset myself so that I can get productive again because I have a lot of things I have to be doing for the mission. A little calendar over here where I post put the videos that I'm posting and then I have a notebook and I put all the videos I'm filming for the week. I'm already a little behind for this week but that's okay. We have seven videos to film next week. That's gonna be so fantastic. Um, what's funny is when I was at college, like I was busy back to back to back to back until like 5 p.m. And then after that, I'd go and hang out with friends or I'd do homework. So I technically was never home until like 9 p.m., 10 p.m., if not like 12, 31 a.m. So I was always doing stuff. So I should be able to like film all these videos in, in a week because I'm doing much less work than I was when I was at school. However, I did just show up and they taught me stuff. So this is like using a lot more of my brain, but that's okay, it's still possible. So I'm currently just trying to write down some stuff for my Portuguese tutoring. And then we're going to write out everything I need to do for, for the day. Come in. Oh, thank you. Coke, do you wanna sleep with me one of these nights? Maybe. Maybe, can you give me a hug? Oh, look at her little chunky monkey. Her ear is cold, it's inside my ear. Our ears are kissing. 
so cute. Porchy's tutoring and man am I a little bit stressed because I feel like I'm behind. I'm not on top of everything. I need to be able to pray in Portuguese right now. And I'm just, I keep forgetting everything. Because I'm surrounded by English, my brain doesn't, it doesn't stick in my mind because I don't need it, technically. And so I'm kind of stressed out. So I'm trying to do some tutoring, but because I've been so stressed out and just there's so many things going on in my brain, I'm currently journaling because journaling really helps me to just get it all figured out and just, you know what I'm saying? It really is one of my like stress relievers or like it's one of my coping mechanisms. If I'm getting super anxious or super amped up and I will go and sit down and I will just start writing because I have all these thoughts in my head because usually you get anxious or you get stressed because of things you're thinking about, right? Or things you're supposed to be doing, all that stuff, right? That's one of my things. If you guys are getting anxious all the time or you have really bad anxiety honestly finding um coping mechanisms helps a ton like i know people are like oh yeah like music helps me but i can't do that in certain situations so that's why you find different coping mechanisms for each situation it's totally possible i have like countless ones cleaning because i I have to do stuff with my hands. My brain moves so fast that like doing stuff with my hands helps like straighten it out. Journal writing also, listening to music kind of. Going out and playing soccer in some situations helps me while I listen to music. So it just depends. Anyways, let's start journal writing. Thank you for coming to my channel. <laughs> Hello guys. <laughs> um, I'm bright red because I just went and played soccer and did drills <coughs> in, actually let's check what the temperature was. I don't even know. In 96 degree weather. I'm stupid. Anyways, after I was writing in my journal and I was listening to music, there's like a certain playlist. I have a soccer playlist and it has songs that like make me like, oh yeah, like I wanna go play soccer. Like Waka Waka by Shakira or Danza Kuduro. Not Brazilian songs, I know Waka Waka isn't a Brazilian song, but like they're just songs that are like, oh my gosh, like this reminds me of soccer. What's funny, I make my, playlists on Apple Music off of feeling, right? So I have a playlist that's like, let's get stuff done, like a motivational one. That's like <clears throat> songs that I'd listen to that like make me want to get up and like start cleaning. And then I have, I just have a lot of different playlists, but so I was listening to that music and I was like, oh my gosh, like I should go do some soccer to just help reset myself and to make me feel more motivated and on top of it. Because every day that I miss soccer, I'm just like, oh, like, it gets you more and more into the slump, so it makes you less likely to go and do it. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, there's my little rant for the day. I also need to do some Portuguese. I'm starting to get into the hang of like praying in Portuguese, but I still have to look at them because I keep forgetting them, so I'm gonna do that. I'm also, while I'm taking a bath, I'm gonna watch High School Musical in Portuguese so I can just start getting those words, you know? You know what I'm saying? Anywho, also, the bathtub is freezing cold. So, <laughs> I'm doing like an ice bath, except not an ice bath, because apparently ice baths are way colder than that. Um, I sprained my ankle a while ago, which I didn't actually realize I did, so I kept running on it. Yeah, that was stupid of me. <laughs> Whoops. Anywho, and so I did like an ice bath on just my foot, and I wanted to cry for the first five minutes. My athletic trainer kept like being like, so, like, tell me something. I was just like, because <sighs> I couldn't because it was, I was so in pain. Oh my gosh, I was supposed to put this in. Okay, let's go take a bath. Okay, I just finished my bath. It was cold for a bit, and then I changed it to hot, and then I was like sweating, and then I wanted to take a cold shower, but I didn't. But, anywho, there's that. Oh. 